r slash ask reddit what brands or companies are actually evil chiquita banana company have allegedly been involved in the deaths of trade unionists and threats to their families weren't they responsible for overthrowing the government of honduras and replacing the government with a dictatorship hence the term banana republic Lux Xotica. This is one company that runs a monopoly on 80% of glasses in the USA. They also own the eyeglasses stores and the insurance companies and eye doctor chains. Ever wondered why glass and a bit of plastic costs as much as a smartphone? Not only do they own the major brands, they own the optical stores that sell those brands. A few products are made in Europe but most are made in China. I read that their premium glasses cost $15 to make and retail for $400. At one point they refused to stock Oakley. Oakley went bankrupt. Then they bought it. Pure evil. A lot of brands tout that they are made in Italy, but only a fraction of the work has to be done in Italy for them to claim that. So basically everything is made in China but the screws and they assemble it in Italy. I've heard bad things about Susan G. Komen. I saw a change collection jar for them recently at a checkout lane. There were stickers on it that spelled out coins for a cure. But someone had peeled off the eye. I wish I could high five whoever did that. The National Football League sent a crooked doctor to testify before Congress and lie about football turning players' brains into mush. They destroyed the career of the researcher who discovered it. They threatened lawsuits against journals that published the research. They actively misled players about the danger. Yes, everybody knew you could get a concussion playing football. But the league led players to believe it could be managed like any injury. Just get a couple weeks rest and it will heal. The league knew everyone causes permanent damage that never heals and lied to players about it. When ESPN co-produced a documentary about all this with PBS Frontline, the league forced them to disavow it and take their name off it or risk losing coverage access. The worst is that it's not even the serious concussions that cause the most damage. It's the smaller head bumps that accumulate over time and result in CTE. So health issues are practically unavoidable. Ticketmaster and Live Nation. Are they the same company? So duck cause they own all the big venues as well. 10 years ago got great seats to every show. Now this ducking waiting room is BS. Nestle. The seer has stated water isn't a human right and has lobbied to push legislature to make that a reality. Thankfully to no success yet. They literally killed babies with their formula bullshit in Africa. College board. And paying for electronically sending your SAS scores to each college are like $20 when you can do it for free. Wells Fargo. This needs to be higher. I can't believe anyone is still doing business with Wells Fargo. Comcast. And all of the other telecommunication companies. Top 5 evil companies honestly. I don't think the US is aware how much we hold ourselves back pretending telecommunications infrastructure is a remotely fair market. Union Carbide. One night, a pesticide plant in India leaked methyl isocyanate on the city of Bhopal. 500,000 were exposed, 16,000 died, and 40,000 were permanently disfigured or disabled. They spent years trying to cover it up and get out of any responsibility. The Pyramid Schemes. I am a business owner you should have taken my job off and now you're locked in because corona and no money ha he. Basically any fast fashion brand. H&M, F21 etc. Ducking banana companies. Seriously look up their history they would topple entire governments just to be able to pay workers like garbage and sell the bananas to the states. Amway. They're a MLM company that preys on the ignorance of poor people. The DeVos family became billionaires of what is essentially a pyramid scheme. Doofenshmirtz Evil Inc. To be fair, he had a hard life. D beers and their blood diamond. Child slavery cartel. Diamonds aren't even rare. They just keep a hold on the supply to make us think so. I'm creating a competing company selling certified blood diamonds. Four children die in the process of bringing the diamond to you. Guaranteed. Facebook. I stopped using Facebook over five years ago but never actually deleted my account. I tried doing so a few months ago and they want a government issued passport or driver's license in order to unlock my account and delete it. I work in insurance. I know firsthand how much info I can pull off people with just a driver's license number and dob. 
There's no way I'm giving that to Mark Zuckerberg. College board. Non-profit my ass. $35 shipping fee to send my SAT score to colleges when it's sent online? Why does it cost $50 to take and SAT? Why am I paying $200 for an AP exam? Duck that shit. Straight up a monopoly running colleges in America. The best part about non-profits is that there is no cap on pay for executives. So the executive can make 20 million a year and it still be a non-profit. Nestle. They said that water isn't a human right. Dupont. Knowingly poisoned the entire US with a chemical that stays in your body forever and causes health issues and birth defects. There's a whole movie about it called Dark Waters. I believe they're still fighting in court over it since it happened quite a while ago. It's worse than that. Dupont poisoned land and watersheds all over the US then essentially purposely bankrupted themselves so they could legally divest all the bad companies and lawsuits fines into spin-off companies with no assets so they couldn't afford to sober. Clean up remediation. The good parts they sold to Dow. Never mind all that imbued business. Vera Bradley. Hello Sweatsharp. Their factories are funneled full of refugees from Burnamana, Guatemala, Sierra Leone. They are drastically underpaid, obviously, and stuck in these huge yet cramped sweatshops. Little sweatshops. My boyfriend when I was in my 20s, he worked in factories through manpower or some such staffing agency. They placed him there for a few months. He learned that they keep the guards on short term assignments. Probably so they can't get enough evidence to turn them in. It was ducked. He said they gave the workers these paper feeling pajama things and slip on cheap sandals. They weren't allowed to bring anything into the sweatshop. Not a bag or a phone. Not a lunchbox. They couldn't bring cell phones into the entire facility. My boyfriend was also held to the cell phone rule. He would have to call me from the parking lot before he went in. Because even he wasn't allowed to bring his phone into the building. He wasn't allowed to bring a lunchbox either. It was bizarre. The folks were worked to near torture conditions. Like not being able to use the restroom. Not being able to leave the building during a shift. He said they would work for undetermined length shifts. He wasn't ever given much information about production. About internal affairs. He was just told to watch these crowded rooms. He was supposed to make sure people weren't talking to each other. They weren't allowed to take breaks. It is seriously ducked. And this modern wage slavery happens in the United States. PETA. When I was first vegetarian I found PETA thinking PETA helped animals. After doing research I realized if PETA were to see any animal the first thing they will think about is killing it. Diet water companies. MLM companies. It's controversial but if you look into PETA on YouTube you will see stuff like the time they killed a chihuahua who had an owner or hair of PETA's animal shelter. Yep, that shelter with an 80% kill rate. Exxon paid any scientist who wrote a disinformation paper on climate change. It worked. This continues to floor me. I actually know people in real life who insist the 97% of scientists who believe in climate change are being paid off. Not the other way around. That's just amazingly stupid. The tech companies that build in obsolescence in their products should duck right off. Switching parts from metal to plastic. Lowering the life expectancy, but keeping prices the same. The Bluth Company. Oh come on, it was just some light reason. Lando Lakes. It's a farmer's coop that's supposed to help members. But instead of using many ingredients from their members, they instead, for example, are cutting down jungles to produce palm oil to make fake butter from. It tastes terrible, and it's even worse for the environment. But they have a Native American in their logo. Goop. They honestly seem more stupid than evil. But I agree that they are unethical. Charming because they are cutting down Canada's boreal forest and putting several species at risk of extension. Also because their ads make everyone unaffordable. TikTok. It has an algorithm that favors sexual videos. Even when probably half of its audience is under 15. So pretty much the app promotes sexual and inappropriate content to kids. Equifax. No reason they should still be trusted with personal information or credit anymore. AIG. Price fixed for profit insurance against your health. Frankly I could write a list because I believe most companies listed on the stock market are dissociated from their own leadership goals and abuse the entire economy. Capitalism has run amok. 
I don't disavow currency but just short of it. All markets need a lot better regulation. Not a company, but Scientology. And Tom Cruise. That guy is scary and evil. Sweetums. Towing companies. This should be higher. Everyone has a shitty tow company story. They prey on poor people. I had my car towed from the mechanic because the mechanic went under and couldn't pay their rent. They wanted 1k to get my non-working car out and 50 for me to get my stuff out of it. Big chicken companies. Like Tyson and Purdue. Who duck over their farmers. Causing them to continuously be in debt allowing the company to keep a thumb on them. Also mistreatment of the chickens themselves. Just watched Super Size Me 2. And it has opened my mind even more to this reality. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bre